Hello guys, welcome to Trading Home. And in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to model architectures in ArchiCAD. Okay, so I'll be teaching you how to do this, and with this same method, you can use this same window method. Okay, the same way of designing these architectures on Windows, you can use the same method to model your arcs. Okay, like to design your arcs. Okay, so let's proceed without wasting much of our time. Let me do this very, very fast and in a detailed way so that you understand what I'm saying. Alright, so first of all, once you get to that point, if this is the window you're going to model, okay, make sure you click on ground floor. This is ground floor, and that's the plan view, alright? The plan view. So this is the window, this last one. So we'll be modeling it here. The first thing to do, we'll be making use of two type of tools. The first one is line tool, alright? So let's start with the line tool. Pick on document, click on document, select line tool, this is line tool, then click on it, and then what we are modeling here now is the plan view of that particular architecture. Okay, so let's do something you know simple. Let's go with hundred by fifty. Okay, let's make this one twenty-five. Okay, I'm just trying to you know model something simple. You can go ahead and do anything that you want to do okay when it comes to architecture just be creative but let's just do something you know something simple here uh, and um okay let's join this one but before then let's create something like um like a circle here okay let's create something like a circle here and then let's delete this line okay so now this is the first tool okay which is the line tool you use it to design everything design that shape and before then before you proceed with the modeling okay the next thing to do for you to achieve that solid um design is to use the second tool which is known as the morph tool okay so that one now go back to this design under design there's a morph tool here okay this morph tool click on it once then once you get to this point who press on space bar and hold it down okay then click inside you can see this entire place now has been filled okay has been filled with color so let's change this color to white we do that by clicking on this okay then click on your setting dialog and then make sure you check this surface click on it once and then select the color let's go with white white for this tutorial let's go with white then click ok so the next thing for you to do is to move that particular design that plan to the edge of that window okay so click on this plan then click on this particular point there's drag this is drag drag it to this point remember it's from edge of window to the other edge so you click here all right then now click on 3d let me show you something you can see that particular design is down okay so still click on it but it's aligned but it's down it's down but it's still aligned okay so click on it click on that same point and then drag it up click on this drag this drag okay click on drag lift it to this point hold down your shift key okay because it's already aligned you only need the height now so you click on this point so this is the point and then now click on this same point and select tube this is tube click on tube remember we use drag to lift it up to this level so now i want to drag that shape you click on tube all right so you can see that shape now look at the shape here it's coming out all right so once you get to this edge you click on this edge still continue all right you don't need to press any other thing just once you click on that tube, you can start selecting your point so now let's take it down one point at a time okay one step at a time okay so you click on this one then you take it to this other side and click once you get everything will join and still click you can see that shape now okay so this is the shape this is the design all right this is the design so thank you for this tutorial i'll be stopping here today okay maybe on our next tutorial i'll be showing you how to do the same thing on axe all right on beam on arc okay and the rest 
so we will stop in here today thank you for your time and um if you find this video interesting please do well to hit the subscribe button and also share the video and ask questions okay if there's anything you don't understand drop your question on the comment section okay i'll do well to attend to you guys thank you see you in our next tutorial